Hi everybody. I've been thinking recently about intellectuals and what an intellectual is, what it means to be an intellectual. You know, intellectuals get a really bad rap, especially in this country, I think. They have cheap haircuts and unfashionable clothes. We dismiss them as eggheads, brain boxes and boffins. They're shut away from the world in what's jokingly called the ivory tower, well away from the levers of power in what is known as the real world. Well, it's easy to dismiss this caricature, I think. But do we really know what intellectuals are? Intellectuals aren't the same as experts, I think. Although there is, of course, some overlap. Not all intellectuals are experts, specialists in a particular field. And not all specialists in a particular field are intellectuals. As far as I can make out, what makes an intellectual isn't that complicated. In fact, it's very simple. I would say that an intellectual is a person who makes theories from their experience. Just like a carpenter makes tables or a baker makes bread, an intellectual makes ideas. And this means that life, experience, isn't something that just happens to intellectuals. They aren't just along for the ride in their lives. Rather, there's this continual process through which experience is turned into ideas and then ideas inform the decisions that shape experience. Intellectuals are curious about everything. They are open and questioning. They're sceptical about received ideas and they want to test received wisdom. They don't like to take things on trust. They like to figure things out for themselves. They understand that common sense is no guarantee that something is right. And that means intellectuals don't just formulate their theories in a kind of private world sitting in their armchair. Rather, they continually want to test their theories against the most serious, the most rigorous, the most critical thinking that other people have done on that subject. So they're continually reading and talking to other people and trying to figure out how their thought connects with the best that has been thought and said on this particular topic. That means that the intellectual life can't be lived alone. It is always drawing us into community with others and creating communities as intellectuals seek each other out and draw each other together into conversation. Serious thinking is always thinking with other people and thinking in ways that are accountable to other people. Van Mild at College is a community that is made up of multiple intersecting, interlocking, overlapping communities. But one thing that I hope it is, is an intellectual community. A place which fosters the intellectual development of all its members. And so I hope that if you're a student of Van Mildert, you will find here an intellectual community, and in being part of that community, you will help to make an intellectual community. Thanks for listening.